Now let's look at the case where the fixed point is a saddle point. We look at the um, system of differential equations x1 dot equals x1 plus x2, x2 dot equals 4x1 plus x2. The matrix is 1, 1, 4, 1. If we find the eigenvalues and the eigenvectors, uh, the first eigenvalue is minus 1, the first eigenvector is 1 minus 2, the second eigenvalue is 3, the second eigenvector is 1, 2. This is the case of two real eigenvalues, but they're opposite sign. So let's write down the solution again. So we have our uh, x1, x2 vector is equal to a constant times um, our first eigenvector. So uh, 1 minus 2 times e to the minus t plus another constant times the second eigenvector, 1, 2, times e to the 3t, okay? So again, we want to draw the uh, phase portrait. Um, so we're drawing x2 versus x1. If we consider the case where initial conditions where C2 equals 0, then x1 and x2 follow the first eigenvector, right? x1, x2 is always going to be minus 2 times x1. So here x2 is minus 2 times x1, right? Because this is the vector. 1 minus 2 is the vector. x1, x2 is the vector. So we always have this relationship. This is a line of slope uh, minus 2, so slight, uh, steeper than uh, minus 1. So it looks something like, like this. Okay, And the solution is decaying along that line as e to the minus t. So we're going into the fixed point along this line. OK. Uh, if, if the initial conditions are such that c1 equals 0, then x1, x2 are following 1, 2. And here, then, x2 is always going to be twice x1. That's a line of slope plus 2, so it looks something like this. And here, the solution is growing exponentially as e to the 3t. So the solution is growing away from the fixed point. This is the fixed point. OK, um, what does this look like? So we're going into the fixed point along this direction, the direction associated with uh, v1. And we're going out of the fixed point along this direction, the direction associated with v2, the positive eigenvalue. Negative eigenvalue in, positive eigenvalue out. And then, of course, you can sketch this diagram. You know, a rough sketch would look something like this, something like this, this, and this. Right? So you can see which way the arrows are going. This is called a saddle point because if you are um, in, a, in the American West and you ride horses, if you sit on a saddle, the front and back of the saddle, the bottom, the saddle is here and the front and back go up and the sides go down. Okay? So if you consider a equilibrium as, as a bottom, then it's it's a bottom on the front and the back, but then it's a top, which is a bottom would be a stable equilibrium. A top would be an unstable equilibrium, so it's a top going from right to left. So that's why this got the name of a saddle point. Okay, this is a rough sketch. Now let's have a look at a computer graphic of the phase portrait of this differential equation. Okay, you see how I drew the, uh, the lines corresponding to the eigenvectors and then filled in the remaining diagram by uh, 
computing the solution of the differential equation. Okay, so in this video, we talked about the phase portrait of a saddle point. The key here is that one of the eigenvalues is negative and one of the eigenvalues is positive. A saddle point is unstable because as long as you have a non-zero value of C2, the initial condition is not exactly on the line x2 equals minus 2x1, then eventually the solution will go to infinity. I'm Jeff Chasnoff. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.